All right. Terry, do your thing when, like, when you come in, like, Cleopatra or something. Just start to, you can do your Johnny Carson <laughs> thing or whatever. Hello. I did my Johnny Carson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's Tuesday. And I'm Terry. <laughs> We're going to do a, um, um, uh, a reading today, just a, a one from um, the numerology guidance cards. And so um, just a general reading for our group here today. And uh, we can do some more readings uh, specifically. Okay, so the first card I pulled out is um, 26, and it's a love partnership. And the second card is eight, is manifestation. And then the third one is 88, abundance. Well, the first thing I have to say in all of this is, wow, what an amazing reading we have. But they're all eight. Eight, 88, eight. Oh, yeah. And two and, and, uh, and uh, six. Is, so it's all eights. And so eights are about good luck and stuff so um i'm getting the sense that you know things are really moving for all of us as a group so um what does she say here with the numbers so 26 is love partnership this card indicates a time when a romantic relationship is about to enter your life perhaps you are single and are about to meet a special someone or maybe your current relationship is about to progress to a deeper level of understanding and commitment. Either way, love is just around the corner, provided you believe. Um, in the meantime, you're encouraged to focus on what you have to offer rather than what you'd like to receive. By doing so, you will attract a mutually loving relationship that serves both parties' needs. Remember, you must believe that love exists in order to attract it into your life. So work on any limiting beliefs or negative thoughts you may have about love. Um, so I'm kind of seeing this as not only the love relationship that we might have with another, but also discovering a deeper love for ourselves and our inner being and, and working on the relationship that we have with ourselves. So. Um, I can say self-love, but I think it's more than self-love. I think it's um, bringing in those aspects of ourself that we may have not looked at um, for our lives and, and just about how we interact with people and how we become part of a group, how we are part of our community. And I think that this whole thing about um, uh, a love partnership is the love that we can extend to the people around us and in a way that we wouldn't normally express it. And so um, with eight, with manifestation, um, uh, this card indicates a need to acknowledge the power of your mind and your ability to manifest your desires. You are being urged to familiarize yourself with the law of attraction and clarify your wants and needs for you have entered a powerful cycle of divine manifestation. Provided that your dreams serve the greater good, as well as the intentions of your soul, the universe will assist you in making them come true. By drawing this card, you are being reminded that successful manifestation requires more than just positive and wishful thinking. You must also surrender the outcome to the divine and attach from the result and detach from the results. Remember that the law of attraction works both ways. So pay attention to your doubts, worries, and fears and monitor your negative thoughts. Then focus predominantly on what you want rather than what you fear or don't want. So with the manifestation, it's like we have come a long way with um, what we've been doing in our lives um, over the past few years, specifically the last three years, but but it could be it could be ten years, it could be two years, but we have 
been learning about manifestation. We've been learning about letting go. And part of that whole process is being able to connect with what we want, what we see, our vision. And, and it's about a vision of um, and believing what we are envisioning. Um, it's, you know, manifestation just doesn't come from a wish. It beca it's becomes part of, of how we are going to live our lives. And so if you want to live um, a life of abundance, then you're not going to um, be, you know, you're not going to be uh, living in, in um, a place of not having things. You want to live in, a, in a, that energy of receiving and, and also being grateful for what we've received. So the part of the manifestation is more about uh, how we actually walk through our daily lives and how what being aware of what our thoughts are and um, being able to tap into that flow of um, the abundance that we want to receive in our lives and that can be with regard to relationships with regard to financial with regard to health it's all part of that um, ability to to see and to bring it forward so we're going to bring it forward based on what how we feel t right now because uh, this is the present this is where we manifest is from now and so that manifestation goes into the future so that we walk into it um, in a place of feeling uh, fulfilled. And then, then we get to the abundance, which is 88. Is This card indicates a need to adopt an attitude of abundance in order to attract it into our life. By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to recognize the numerous opportunities in front of you. For the universe is bountiful, and there's plenty to go around. Since you attract what you believe, you must improve your perception of the world. Replace your thoughts of scarcity, competition, and shortage with feelings of abundance, prosperity, and hope. The universe has an infinite supply of love, health, wealth, and wisdom. Therefore, a greedy, competitive mindset only prevents abundance from flowing. At this time, you must recognize and address any limiting beliefs that are blocking this flow. Perhaps you were brought up to believe that money doesn't grow on trees, or maybe you aren't convinced you deserve to be happy, successful, and prosperous. When you change your perception, you change the circumstances of your life. And so that just sort of, <laughs> that just sort of flows from what I was talking about. Um, this, I got this back. So when we look at, um, when we look at these, uh, you know, generally for, for everyone, it's, it's taking this, this love partnership that we have um, with people around us, with ourselves, and, and just feeling that sense of comfort in um, how we are going to proceed forward. And then when you have the... Um, manifestation and the abundance we are stepping forward into um into our future based on how we are feeling at the present moment so i i think that the the love right love partnership is about being in this present moment accepting um the relationships that we have with ourselves and with the people around us and allowing the love to flow which will then allow ourselves to move into a place of feeling um, um, and having that ability to manifest um, the future based on how we're feeling right now. Um, because how we feel at this present moment is going to affect how we um, move forward into the days ahead. So, hmm. any any questions with that? So, yeah. So, um, Love was asking, it will be a, ch a, a positive change for, for you. Yeah, if you, I'm going to, we'll post these on the site. I'm just going to send them to the, uh, to this site. 
and um, just take the cards. Like I said earlier, they're, it's amazing because they're all eight. Every one, two plus six is eight. Manifestation is eight and abundance is 88. So the eight is a very positive, that, that flow, right? That eternal flow. So it's asking us to get into the flow. And that flow, when we into that flow, we're going to move into the space of, um, we can move into that space of abundance. Shall we do a, a focus chakra card on it? And then we can have an affirmation for it. Sure. My voice is becoming stronger and more compelling. My voice is becoming stronger and more compelling. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, that's really speaking your truth and, and honoring that, that connection of all relationships around us. And in doing so, that allows for you to speak that clearly, vividly for your manifestations. That flows with the wave of abundance of you honoring with compassion and empathy and that passion. Mm. That is the flow state there, Wendell. Wendell, right on point. Yeah. Terry, we can't hear you. Yeah, we can't hear you. The mic is closed, yeah. Terry. Okay. But I know you said infinity, didn't you? Infinity. Yeah, I was just I was just commenting. Lindell had uh, had said, you know, that that it's all about us collectively being in the flow. And um uh yeah, and we need to embrace that flow. Exactly. Yeah, that, that, that infinity, the eight. Mm -hmm. That flow state. Flow with everything that's around you. That's exactly it. Yeah, it's about being grateful for where, for where we are and, yeah. um, you know, and, and living in that present moment. So that's how we create and manifest into the future. Mm -hmm. I think I'll stop the video because that's, that's the collective reading, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I will do it.